Hi everyone, I hope you are well today. Hope you have had a, um, a good week. I'm going to be doing the emails a little bit differently. Um, just posting a, uh, a video uh, talking about some ways to connect to the body of Christ and also a little bit about what we're talking about uh, each Sunday. I asked, uh, I got to spend some time with my friend Amy this past week and I asked her um, what she uh, uh, received during the sermon I preached this past week and uh, it's kind of on pins and needles at what she she would say and uh, you know, or what anyone would say as to uh, what they they received and one of the ways that she received uh, last week's message on on togetherness is is it's encouraging her um, to get out of her comfort zone and to build community in all the places that she finds herself and that this series isn't really just about like creating new spaces but it's acknowledging the spaces of togetherness that we're already in uh, and really valuing them appreciating them leaning into them like um, you know many of us are part of parent groups or, or we go hang out on the playground with other parents and uh, or we uh, are in political action groups groups on racial equity um, we, we're serving on boards and Zoom meetings or whatever, wherever we are finding ourselves um, to encourage us to build um, togetherness uh, in those spaces as well as in our church church community. Um, a few other ways uh, that we might connect to the body of Christ that you'll find listed below is that we're having a one-year celebration and dream Sunday, which we're really excited about. Um, and this is a day that I want all of us to come together. Um, if you're a one Sunday a month person, uh, come on this Sunday. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're going to have a potluck. Um, and uh, it'll, the times will be different as well. We'll plan to meet from uh, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, that day. Same, uh, same location. Um, one of the things that we're going to be doing is just talking about the ways, uh, celebrating where God has, has led us and, and appreciating those, those ways uh, this past year. And also looking forward to how we might uh, together co-create this vision of what uh, planning a new faith community together called Story Church and uh, what that might coalesce into and what that might look like and how we all might um, be together on on this journey. And the second thing that I wanted you to know that I'd love for you to come to be a part of, to sit at our table, is that we're going to be at the uh, Meb and Juneteenth Celebration Day, which is uh, Saturday, June 18th, and we'll be there from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Meb and Community Park. Uh, this is just a, you, part of our community. One of the values um, uh, or one of the things we appreciate as a community is just relationships and being outside of the walls of the established church. And this is one of those ways that we can be outside those walls and just connecting uh, with people in our community and getting to know know a little bit about their lives. And so I'd love if you have the space in, in your calendar to be a part of that. We would love that immensely. With all that said, um, I hope you have a great weekend and uh, we'd love to connect with you and I hope to see you soon.